this video where I'm going to show you how you can use Photoshop to make your whites whiter and to make you to make your colors pop. You're probably wondering um, if this is a Photoshop uh, tutorial, then why am I in Lightroom? That's because personally for my workflow, I usually start in Lightroom to um, filter and flag my photos and select them and then edit them in Photoshop and come back to Lightroom so that I can save and export. Um, in this video, I want to show you how you can turn this beautiful blue photo into a proper white. How many of you have had this issue of shooting and getting a photo that's supposed to be white uh, into uh, blue or maybe sometimes you get a warmer color, warmer color like yellow? Um, I have a very simple trick that I like in Photoshop. I'll show you how you can do that. So I right click and choose edit in Photoshop. You can open the file directly in Photoshop. I will choose edit original because I haven't done any changes to light, uh, to the photo on Lightroom. And But if you have, if you, if you start with Lightroom and you do some changes and some edits, you can do edit a copy. You can select edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. So I'm, I'll press edit and it would open the file in um, Photoshop. I like to create a new layer. So I'm going to drag the background layer onto the new, which basically copies this layer and creates a new one. Just in case I want to do some more edits and I don't want to mess up my original photo. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create and add an adjustment using an adjustment layer. And we're going to work with levels. If you don't see this um, window here, this means that you can uh, um, view it from, you can click on window from the menu tool, and then you can go to adjustments and sort of like it hides it or it shows it. I want to, I want it to be here because I use the, uh, these the adjustments a lot and I like to have easy access. In case you don't and you want to access it from the menu, then you can go to layer, new adjustment layer, and you can choose any of these adjustment layers. So again, we want to create a new adjustment layer and we're looking at levels. Once you click at levels, it uh, opens up this window. Uh, I want you to look at the eyedropper. This, the, the bottom one is the one that sets the white in your image. And then if you're working with a black photo or a dark photo, you can set uh, use the eyedropper that's on top, which is basically for the black points or uh, if you want to set your gray point into the photo, that's the middle one. So we're looking at the bottom one, uh, click on that, and then select somewhere in your photo where you want to set the entire white of your photo to that point. I mean, basically, if I click here, look at what happened. Just like literally from here to here. I really like what it has done to my photo. You can double click again on the adjustment and it opens up and then if you think that you want to choose some other point in your photo, you can do that. And you can just kind of like play around and find somewhere where you are comfortable with. One thing that I've also noticed with this photo that is that I had a smudge here and it kind of disappeared when I applied the levels, which is really awesome. If you still want to kind of clean it up, you can use your, um, because this is a white photo, you can use your dodge tool or we can use the cloning tool, which also works. I mean, this specific uh, technique works for white photos, doesn't work on uh, every uh, other photo. If you still feel like this is pretty blue, you can apply another adjustment layer, like a photo filter, um, and you can warm it up a little bit, which kind of gives it a really more uh, balanced white uh, color. It really depends on your preference, uh, the client, uh, the creative brief that you have from the agency, um, and maybe your uh, style, uh, your personal style, if you're posting this on Instagram. And you can see what this basically applies. I mean, it takes it away from being blue to a bit of a balanced white. You can always change the opacity. If you don't want it to be 100%, you can play along with the opacity. The really nice thing, it's nice thing about creating masks is that when you can see, when you see it all in white, it means that this mask is applied all over your image. If you just want to be selective, you can um, 
color the areas that you don't want the mask to apply maybe I don't want the truffles to be uh, to get the photo filter so I can basically use the brush tool with the color black and uh, use the brackets to get your um, brush bigger or smaller and once I click on it I mean it sort of like creates that uh, it uh, cancels the effect of the photo filter onto the truffles specifically um, that's like one of my favorite ways of getting the whites to be white I've used it so many times and it has saved me time and effort uh, during my work